Hello kids. Now the topic for discussion we have right now is synthetic fibers and plastics. These are two things which observe in our daily life all around us. We play with them, we live with them, we use them for various purposes. Now in this topic we will learn about fibers, their types, monomers, polymers, polymerization, their products, uses, various synthetic fiber and types of plastics. Now fibers, what are fibers? Fibers are thin thread-like structures we see all around us like hair. Hair is a fiber-like structure. The clothes we wear are made up of fibers, the thread itself. Fibers may be natural or synthetic. If fibers are obtained from natural sources like plant, animal, we call them natural fiber like silk, wool, hemp, jute. If they are obtained from chemicals, we call them Synthetic fibers like nylon, polyester, etc. Now monomers and polymers. Mers mean unit. Mono means one and poly means many. Monomer is the smallest unit which repeats itself combined together to form a larger unit called polymers. Basically all plastics are monomer of some very small unit which is called its monomeric unit. And the process by which these units join together is called polymerization. So by polymerization, monomers combine to form a polymer which we call as plastic. Polymers, they may be natural like cotton, wool, silk which are natural fibers. Cotton is made up of glucose which is monomer. Wool and silk are made up of proteins. Spider silk is made up of sugars which are very strong more polymers here. Synthetic polymers are made from chemicals. They are basically plastic in nature and appear them in the properties like nylon and polyester. Ethylene is a very common substance which you use as polythene. Polythene is the monomer of this ethylene unit. You can see here the CH2 units are arranged in a long array to form polythene or polyethene. The products obtained from plastic. Now, synthetic polymers are obtained from certain raw material which we call petrochemicals. These are chemicals obtained from petroleum oil. These petrochemicals, they are chemically processed, treated in factories to obtain plastics. It requires substances like rubber, silicone, well, ethane, propane, benzene, toluene, etc. which act as raw material to make plastics. In the East, India, including cotton, wool, silk, they are very common. The West, it is leather, wool, fur, which we use in general. Other fibers include uh, hemp and others. It was towards 1930 that synthetic fibers were made and they are mainly obtained from petroleum product, natural gas and coal. Rayon is a very common, very important fiber. It is obtained from cellulose, which is obtained from wood itself. Though cellulose is a natural polymer, it needs excessive chemical treatment to form rayon. As a result, we do not call it completely chemical polymer. It is basically a semi-synthetic polymer, which is obtained from nature but requires extensive synthetic treatment. It has various advantages, like it is very cheap as compared to cotton itself. Second, it is easily blended with other fibers like wool and silk. As it appears silk in texture, it is commonly called as synthetic silk or artificial silk. Rayon, its properties are, it is lustrous like silk. It drapes well. It is easily dyed into many colors and easy to weave. And it is a very good absorbent of sweat. Its uses in dress material, Fiberglass, reinforcing tires, nylon tires, upholstery for luxury cars, curtains, etc. Nylon. It was the very first synthetic fiber created by men. Its name is derived on the for the city, New York and London, which were very common at the time. Now, it is basically a polyamide, a polymer of various amides, which is used as fiber, sheet, and many other forms. Its properties, it is lustrous, 
easy to wash it is tough very high tensile it is absorb water very less it is do not react with air water etc it resists oil and weather organic substances and it is very easy to make and can be molded into various different forms nylon can be used as plastic it can be used as fiber it can be used as many other things uses to make sarees stretchable wear seat belts upholstery ropes real thread swimming wear raincoat track suit fishing nets scuba diving uh, devices they all are made up of nylon polyester it is the polymer of ester now esters are alcohol and organic acids which they react to form these compounds therefore their polymer are polyester if dif if different alcohols and acids are used we can obtain different kind of polyesters like terylene dacron terene etc when we blend polyester with cotton we call it polycot if we blend it with wool we call it polywool if terricot is uh, uh, blended with wool we call it terrywool uses it is tough lightweight and elastic it is resistant to pests and chemicals dries quickly it is easy to wash and form a permanent crease if heated and pressed so the crease on polyester cloth are long lasting and they can be pressed easily polyester uses used to make magnetic audio and video tape for shirting suiting sarees they are mixed with fiber glass to form helmets and protective sheets acrylic it is a very common fiber which has wool like appearance this is called synthetic wool it can be used uh, for various purposes depending on the properties like it is resistant for to moth so it is used as wool and it has long life it is soft with creams resemble wool it is durable light and washable it is strong and stain resistant it is available in sheets and can be dyed in different colors which give us variety of uses use of acrylic it is used to make by baby wears artificial fur blankets automobile lights etc lacquer spandex it is a very common like a substance nowadays which you see around us it is used to make clothes socks etc now plastics can be used in many things like make play sets bottles seeds frisbees containers buckets etc now polymerization again it is the process by which we obtain polymers from monomers that is the monomeric unit that form plastics now types of plastics remember plastics are of many types but two major categories are thermosetting and thermoplastics thermosetting plastics are plastics which once molded cannot be remolded again once they take a shape we cannot change them or melt them by heating so once formed they retain their shape and should be used as it is they are of comparatively low quality dark in color and show certain properties they are brittle they are used to make plastic substances which are not easily broken examples are thermostat handles fireman's uniform melamine wears and electric pin thermoplastics these are plastics which melt on heating and can be remolded again and again into different forms so once we use them they are broken they can be recycled to create a new new substance a new device a new object if it is again broken we can reuse it so various cycles can be produced using a thermoplastic whereas thermosetting plastic do not show these cycles it cannot be remolded again and again now some examples are pvc acrylic polyurethane etc there are certain use of it like plastic table chair food containers remember pet polyethylene triphthalate is is also polyester that is used to make food quality uh, containers and uh, polythene bottles plastic toys spoons forks cups etc thank you and have a nice day